हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यू जी सी ई पी जी पाठशाला प्रोग्राम आई एम अदिति असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोग्राफी स्वामी श्रद्धानंद कॉलेज यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट जो स्पेशल टेक्निक्स एंड वाटर शेड मैपिंग इंट्रोडक्शन इंडिया बी अ डेवलपिंग नेशंस लैक्स द प्रजेंस ऑफ एन अफेक्टिवली सिस्टम फॉर द बिल्ड इन्वायरमेंट देर इज इन एफिशेंसी in the resource management sector and lack of proper planning has resulted in misuse of resources on a very large scale the rampant growth of population and advancement in lifestyle have tremendously increased the demands for natural resources these growing demands are putting the resilience of the natural resource base under threat watershed management is the study of the relevant characteristics of a watershed aimed at the sustainable distribution of its resources and the process of creating and implementing plans and programs and projects to sustain and enhance watershed functions that affects the plant animal and human communities within a watershed boundary to ensure the resource conservation the vertical and horizontal expansion of production development through watershed approach is very effective the study of water resources at the watershed scale is widely adopted as an approach to manage assess and simulate these important natural resources Watershed studies conducted using a GIS platforms have demonstrated that the spatial analysis capabilities of GIS hold the key to improved watershed modeling tech. The analytical muscles of GIS combined with readily available digital elevation data can be used to automate the watershed modeling process and provide a visual representation of the watershed responds to existing condition and propose improvement scenarios watershed management is a watershed is a geographic area in which all sources of water drain to a common surface water body a region or area bounded periphery by divided and draining ultimately to a particular water course or body of water land and water are the two important and most valuable and essential resources which forms the basis of all the life and forms key resources in all economic activities ranging from agriculture to industry watershed management is no longer the exclusive domain of soil and water conservation it now needs equal contribution from social scientists and researchers main objectives of watershed management are first to suggest possible exploitation of resources within the limits of tolerance conservation of soil and water improve ability of land to hold water maintaining adequate vegetative cover for controlling soil erosion rainwater harvesting and groundwater recharging watershed mapping gives information about the natural resources of the particular watershed and also has a great role in watershed management and planning watershed approach is holistic linking upstream and downstream areas watershed watershed management requires three tier management strategy focusing on first a micro regional planning approach and second the analysis and appraisal of the biophysical and socio economic environment third agro ecological zoning the necessity for a micro regional approach to planning arises primarily because the actual condition of the watershed vary depending on the local biophysical conditions population pressure and natural resource condition it aims at alleviating habitat and inhabitat improve impoverishment through a holistic approach of conservation and sustainable exploitation of natural resources and harmonious coexistence with the surrounding nature 
as an integral part of area development program land resources development programs are taken upon micro watershed basis as the shape of the watershed controls the natural resources like water soil and productivity of the land for successful implementation of agriculture forest and other micro level development in each hectare of a watershed the micro watershed and the village becomes the most adaptable unit for regional planning and management of the micro watersheds and villages are the most workable units using satellite data and gis technologies maps and maps and uh, land use land cover drainage soil etc will become indispensable to manage natural and human resources the concept of development of land and water resources on watershed basis gained importance in india since 1974 today india is one of the major providers of earth observation data in the world in a variety of spatial spectral and temporal resolutions meeting the needs of many application of relevance to national development the watershed approach is increasingly being deployed in various development programs to manage the water and land resources like soil water conservation our country's first watershed atlas is an outcome of the project generation of database and implementation of web enable water resources information system in the country short name as india wris web gis jointly executed by central water commission and national remote sensing center indian space research organization isro the watershed atlas of india is based on the work of systematic and scientific delineation of hydrological units of the country in hierarchical manner along with analysis of various gis layers on a 50000 scale will be an important digital database for planning and monitoring of development programs being implemented in the country on watershed basis it will serve as a uniform baseline for developing hydrologic unit based data bank to be used for water resources management run of sedimentation water balance evapotranspiration and several other catchment characterization related studies now we will discuss the role of geomatics in watershed mapping Geomatic is an applied science and a professional discipline as an applied science it involves an integrated approach to the measurement analysis management and display of a uh, geographic and other spatial data the combination of geomatic and remote sensing information includes first the integration of natural resource information in conjunction with socio economic data second generation of local specific action plans for land and water resources third analysis of demographic data to assess the development needs of the region fourth assessment of the existing infrastructure to arrive at development schemes generation of variety of derived maps There are three important tools of geomatic. First is GPS, second remote sensing and third GIS. Global positioning system, a satellite based geolocation system that functions worldwide and is accessible to the public via GPS units. Three most effective GPS systems are signal broadcast, triangulation and and users. GPS records a location point associated with all observations. It helps with data management. Investigators can easily revisit the same site for long-term research. It also allows others to verify the results. Now, GPS provides worldwide positionally accurate coordinate thus useful to establish 
geographic location and define the context. It is a way to acquire recent cost effective in situ data. GPS is an important tool for monitoring purpose by acquiring data repetitively about Earth's features and phenomena. GIS helps in visualizing of geospatial data and the visualization is a convenient and effective way to communicate complex information like about the natural resources and increase our level of understanding about these resources. Second is remote sensing. The acquisition of images and information are remotely sensed usually by satellites. All the information stored digitally transmitted electro, electronically and are fully georeferenced. Remote sensing techniques can be applied for watershed mapping in the following manner. First, delineation and codification of watershed area. Second, watershed characterization and assessing watershed priority. Evaluation of problems, potentials and management requirements. Third, erosion intensity mapping and identification of erosion prone areas. Fourth, soil land use and land cover mapping. Fifth, drainage pattern mapping. And sixth, evolving water conservation strategies in a watershed. Selection of sites for the construction of check dams, reservoirs on streams suggesting sites for rainwater harvesting structures, evaluation and monitoring of the impacts of, of the treatment, remote sensing and GIS techniques for watershed mapping, the induction of modern technologies of geospatial tools like remote sensing, GIS and GPS have provided very powerful methods of surveying, identifying, classifying, mapping, monitoring, characterization and to track changes in composition, extent and distribution of several forms of earth resources, both renewable and non-renewable living and non-living in nature. The various parameters of the watershed like stream network, physiography, land use, vegetation and forest cover, snow cover can be mapped and monitored using remote sensing data. Our remote sensing data in conjunction with collateral data helps in delineation of ridge line, characterization, prioritization, identification of vulnerable areas. Technology relating to the collection or processing of data that is associated with location is known as geospatial technologies. Remote sensing play a significant role in providing geo information in a spatial format and also in determining, enhancing and monitoring the overall capacity of the earth. Remote sensing data could be used for a number of applications such as crop inventory and forecast, drought and flood management and assessment, land use monitoring and management. The main attributes in watershed management is size, shape, physiography, slope, drainage, soil and land use. Their parameters and uh, relevance are given in table 1. Remote sensing data in conjunction with collateral data helps in delineation of ridge line, characterization prioritization, erosion, prone areas, geographic information system. Information, this system enabling the creation, organization and presentation of data in a specially referenced form as well as the production of maps and charts. The system synthesizes different types of geospatial data reveals spatial patterns and simplifies confirmation of observation by others. Watershed characterization, the watershed characterization provides an overview of 
fundamental natural and human characteristics of a watershed that can be developed by compiling available background information of a, wet, uh, of a watershed including natural characteristics such as topography, soil, hydrology, etc. and human char characteristics such as population, land use and a uh, water use system. The components of watershed characterization are drainage and its order, watershed boundary, area, parameter, area under various drainage order, length of the stream, morphometric analysis, laws of drainage, calculation of various watershed character, etc. <clears throat> watershed characterization is very useful for generating environmental indicators that can be integrated with collateral data and social indicators like synoptic view, multi-resolution, multi-spectral mapping and monitoring of natural resources both in space and time domain. Delineating a watershed with the help of topography maps in order to successful deline delineation of a watershed boundary the evaluator will need to visualize the landscape as represented by a topographic map. Each contour line on a topographic map represents a ground elevation or vertical distance above a, a reference point such as sea level. There are two widely available methods for measuring the area of a watershed. First is dot grid method. In this method, we use the plastic sheets which is made of acetate and having a series of dots printed on it over the map area to be measured. We count the dots coming within the measured area and multiply by a factor or factor to determine the area. We can also use the hand mechanical counting device to do the procedure first be planimeter. In this method we use planimeter device having a hint mechanism arm. One end of the arm is fixed to a weighted base while the other end has an attached magnifying lens with the cross here. We spread the map with the delineated area on a flat surface after placing the base of the planimeter in a convenient location, we trace around the area to be measured with the pointer. A dial or other readout registered the area being measured. Watershed characterization and assessment through GIS. Remote sensing with or without GIS technology has emerged as an indispensable scientific tool for mapping and planning of natural resources. It plays a hastily escalating role in field of hydrology and sustainable water resource development and management. Remote sensing and GIS based technology have been extensively applicable in nearly all fields of watershed aspects like estimation of evapotranspiration, soil erosion, rainfall runoff modeling and flood management on and um, irrigation and water management. GIS has been widely used in characterization and assessment studies which require a watershed based approach. Basic physical characteristics of a watershed such as the drainage network and uh, flow paths can be derived from readily available digital elevation models and USGS National Hydrology Dataset Program. This in conjunction with precipitation and other water quality monitoring data from sources such as EPA's basins database and USGS enhance development of a watershed action plans and identification of existing potential pollution problems in the watershed. Data gathered from GPS survey and from environment remote sensing system can be 
used within a GIS or a successful characterization and assessment of watershed functions and conditions. Information obtained from characterization and assessment studies primarily in the form of charts and maps can be combined with other data sets to improve understanding of the complex relationship between natural and human system as they relate to land and resources use within watersheds and GIS provides a common framework spatial locations for watershed management data obtained from a variety of sources watershed data and watershed biophysical process have a spatial dimensions GIS can be a powerful tool for understanding these processes and for managing potential impacts of human activities. The modeling and visualization capabilities of modern GIS coupled with explosive growth of the internet and the world wide web offer fundamentally new tools to understand the process and dynamics that shape the physical, biological and chemical environment of watershed. The linkage between GIS, internet and environment databases is especially helpful in planning studies where information exchange and feedback on a timely basis is very crucial, especially when several different agencies and stakeholders involved in this. GIS provides a means to investigate problems by allowing modeling various phenomena and functional in examining, examining the causes and consequences in a place-based context, meaning we can analyze complex integrated issues from local to global scale. All of these systems are useful in addressing the assessment, however, their relevance can vary depending upon the elements of continuum. However, an integration of such spatial technologies with other analytical approaches is often desirable to produce better information, thereby enhancing our understanding for better management of natural resources. In geospatial techniques, the characterization and mapping of a particular watershed can be done by thematic maps and geomorphosis techniques. A thematic map focuses in a specific idea or theme. A thematic map illustrates a particular subject and contrasts the general map in which the variety of geological and geographical phenomena regularly appear together. Thematic maps also emphasize spatial variation of one or a small number of geographical distribution. These distribution may be physically physical phenomena such as climate or human characteristics such as population density and health issues. Thematic maps serve three primary purpose. First, they provide specific information about particular location. Second, they provide general information about spatial patterns. Third, they can be used to compare patterns on two or more maps. A thematic map is a map that emphasizes a particular theme or special topic such as average distribution of rainfall in an area. Map overlay in thematic, in thematic mapping. Storing digital data in multiple layers is known as map overlaying through GIS software, computer added design packages and spreadsheets we also create layering. The process may produce a new data layer as a product of existing layers, for example, in the figure agriculture and pollution potential of every major watershed in the plan state have been estimated by overlaying watershed boundaries. The slopes of the terrain, soil types, land use patterns and animal loading livestock waste estimated from US Census Bureau. The grid overlays uh, combines attributes within grid cells and align exactly misaligned grids must be resembled to common formats. 
in polygon overlays the intersection of two or more data layers produces new features as polygons after that all attributes in different colors of uh, intersecting polygons are combined now we will discuss geomorphism geomorphism other than the thematic maps the watershed characterization and mapping work is also done by geomorphism geomorphism is a semi automated geo geomorphic analysis package for quantitative analysis of watershed for watershed characterization using gis it has six module the first is ordrala it is related to ordering of the drainage coverage and displays the drainage coverage second is watershed selection for demarcation of a particular watershed we first separate the major drainage area principal drainage basin and sub basin for example an area can be divided in several category after the watershed displays by name or point the third is stampara in this module we analyze basin geometry like area length maximum order length of stream stream frequency length of stream total number and length of uh, stream uh, bifurcation ratio average length etc the fourth one is bas geo this module is very helpful in measuring area length stream length and overland flow length the fifth one is basin geometry parameters the main watershed geometry parameters are area and perimeter of watershed second is uh, aerial stream and overland flow third one is elongation ratio basin circulatory ratio from factor the fifth one is compactness coefficient sixth one is rodentity factor the seventh one is drainage density eighth one is stream frequency ninth one is drainage texture tenth one is texture ratio and the last one is lamisquate ratio the watershed development planning includes strategic planning like delineation and codification of watershed prioritization of watershed detailed soil inventory of very high and high priority watersheds in the catchments treatment evaluation and monitoring of the impact of the treatment etc effective data regarding surface water availability for watershed management demands application of geospatial techniques such as remote sensing image processing techniques and gis water management process not only include data related to spatial and temporal attributes but also includes data related with surface water storage ground water recharge and ground water management hydrology climatology agriculture topography environmental and socio economic aspects there is a need of appropriate modeling and application <coughs> of modern techniques to in to integrate agriculture water soil climate environment to optimize and allocate the land and water resource properly suitable measures data and modern geospatial techniques and soft computing tools that could be utilized to manage watershed imply appropriate technologies at the local level and provide watershed services for upstream and downstream areas the water resources assessment process follows a continuum that involves determining the baseline rates or levels for various phenomena establishing the the trends in these measurements key functions that form the process needed assessment the continents are first mapping collection of thematic and quantitative baseline data measuring more rigorous mapping process by quantifying and documenting the attributes of phenomena third modeling process of describing a system under study through precise and typically mathematical relations of inputs and outputs and to stimulate the present past or future behavior fourth monitoring regular assessment of the conditions by recording the shift or changes in natural phenomena and human activities 
Watershed Restoration Studies and Decision Support System. The field of watershed science, particularly watershed planning, is experiencing fundamental changes that are having profound impact on the use of computer-based simulation models in resource planning and management. The dramatically increased availability of powerful, low-cost and easy-to-use GIS software and more extensively spatially referenced data are making GIS an essential tool for watershed planning and management tasks. However, with this increased use has come an increased realization that GIS alone cannot serve all the needs of planning and managing watershed. This realization has renewed resource planners' interest in development of decision support system that combine GIS, spatial and non-spatial data, computer-based biophysical models, knowledge-based systems, and advanced visualization techniques into integrated system to support planning and policy analysis function. As a component of a spatial decision support system, GIS provides very powerful visualization facilities for display and manipulation giving immediate intuitive evaluation capabilities to which a wide range of non-technical users and decision makers can relate to. GIS has been used for restoration studies ranging from relatively small rural watershed to heavily urbanized landscape, coupled with hydrodynamic and spatially explicit hydrologic water quality modeling for an example, alternatives for restoring a water body or a watershed can be studied by creating digital maps that show existing conditions and comparing them to maps and maps that represent the alternative scenario. GIS can also provide a platform for collaboration among researchers, watershed stakeholders, and policymakers, significantly improving consensus building and offering of the opportunity and collaborative work on interdisciplinary environmental policy questions. Conclusions. The future of human being is closely attached with the proper development and conservation of natural resources like soil, water. Hence, natural resources have prime importance in this regard. Prioritization of watershed on the basis of quantitative analysis of morphometric parameters are crucial. One, in order to decide sustainable watershed development strategy. Watershed management and development process not only include data related to spatial and temporal attributes, but also includes data related with surface water storage, groundwater recharge, and groundwater management. Hydrology, climatology, agriculture, topography, environment, and socio-economic aspects. The challenges task for a natural resource researcher is to combine all the concepts and to prepare entire spatial and non-spatial attribute database by amalgamating the leading edge technologies to form decision-making analyzed techniques. Thus, development of entire watershed management, decision support, and information system is needed to integrate the agriculture, water, soil, climate constituents to accomplish the natural resource management and in turn sustainable development. The above discussion proved that the spatial analysis capabilities of geospatial technologies holds the key to improve watershed modeling. In the present modules, we have discussed remote sensing and GIS techniques for watershed mapping and management applicability of various geospatial technologies like GPS, remote sensing and GIS, role of geomatics in mapping, watershed characterization and its components, watershed assessment through GIS and use of thematic maps and geomorsis techniques. We have identified the need for an integrated view of the spatial and non-spatial data in a watershed. Various geospatial tools holds large potential in field of regional and micro level spatial planning, particularly in micro watershed planning and management. These techniques can help pull together various types of disparate data such remote sensing data, census data, records from different administrative bodies, topographical data and field observation to assist researchers 
planners, project officers, decision makers in resource management. Thank you.